Hi, I'm going to introduce you guys to InLink's Market Trends, which is a new product that we've got out, which we think is going to be really, really valuable, whether you're a free user, an unregistered user, or a paid user. Uh, so InLink's Marketing Trends is going to have a look at uh, different topics and find out whether there's increasing interest recently or decreasing interest around any given topic. So at the moment, we've got topics like health and personal care has gone up a little bit, uh, recently, whereas the automotive um, category is uh, at best static, uh, and so we get some some figures on what's rising and what's falling, and we're going to expand these topics as we roll out the product. Uh, so you can get some very uh, top level information here, but we've also given even unregistered users access within the marketing category so you can get a really good idea of what's happening in the marketing category so even though i'm not logged in i can get a pretty good idea of what's happening here so uh, the main trends are things like social media marketing and affiliate marketing and pyramid schemes are all increasing in interest whereas things like a video advertising uh, and um, commercialization and earned media seem to be falling in interest over the uh, the last weeks or months. So this data tends to go over the course of a week or a month. So if we uh, go down this page, we can also see some featured topics which are brought in, which we think are interesting to users. Um, and then uh, we've got uh, uh, the category of marketing and advertising and we've got the main trends in here and if you would like to see more then if you sign up for a free account then you'll get more information on here you can also drill down um, and have a look at an individual topic so let's see what's happening with social media marketing um, the co coronavirus lockdown where it looks like uh, over the last um time since around about mid-April people have been much more interested in social media marketing it's definitely increased over the uh, over the week um, so the weekly trend is growing whereas the monthly trend actually is growing a little bit but it's fairly stable uh, but this spike may be something very very interesting and something we should start talking about uh, and if you want to start talking about it then we bring in all the questions about social media marketing that we see uh, and then we can drill go drill down further we can have a look at other topics that are related to social media marketing so return on marketing investment, marketing communications. And again, we can drill through and have a look at that one and see that that's growing as well. And we've got some actual numbers here, our estimate of the interest volume around the topic. Uh, this has been growing for a, a longer period of time, uh, all month. So both the weekly trend and the monthly trend are up uh, reasonably significantly. Uh, so um, I think it's a pretty cool tool. Uh, let's go and find out next uh, what happens if you've got uh, a free account as opposed to just being uh, unregistered on the whole system. Okay, I'm now at the same page with a free user account. So I've signed up to a free account for Market Trends uh, data for InLinks. Uh, so as before, we've got all the information in the marketing category free. But now when I go on to Home and Garden, for example, I drill down and I start to see all of the category information for each of the topics. So this is still free for you. Um, so... Uh, you can um, have a look at the main trends within the home and garden category uh, and uh, see which ones are growing. So things like actually uh, it would appear that uh, B days are growing uh, for some strange reason. There seems to be an increase in the uh, interest around the world for B days. And this is clearly something that's happened as a result of the of the lockdown. Uh, what we can't do yet is drill into the individual topics and see the data. You would have to upgrade to a paid plan to be able to see the the full information on any individual um, subject. But within the category page, you can still have a look at all the featured topics for any category now and you get the top line data um, trend data coming in so you can say right we think there's an increase in interest for garage doors around about an extra five thousand a month uh, coming in um, we've again got uh, garden features and and different sections within the home and garden um, uh, category uh, and uh, again you can see more trends if you upgrade to paid uh, so you can uh, click on this button and go to paid uh, and let's go and find out in a minute what's happening on the uh, paid version of InLinks Market Trends. 
Okay, so now I'm in a paid account. A paid account starts at um, around about, well, it starts at $39 a month, so it's not a, a huge expense, but then you've got access to all the features within Market Trends, and you also have access to the whole of the rest of Inlex uh, as well, so the ability to um, start looking, putting schema code on your pages and internal links and stuff. But in Market Trend data, um, you now have uh, your own personalized dashboard that you can start playing with, and let's start drilling down and seeing what extra information you get within a paid account. So I'm going to go and have a look at, for example, the food and agriculture category uh, and drill down to there. So as before, we uh, get to see the, the main trends. There's there's more for a start. So there's more main trends being, being listed here than there were before. Uh, and uh, again, you have the featured topics as before. What you can do with anything now is you can drill down to an individual um, topic and have a look at the volume over time. So the Dutch baby pancake, for example, has been growing in interest. Um, you get to find out, of course, what a Dutch baby pancake is, sometimes called a German pancake or a Bismarck or a Dutch puff. It's uh, a large American popover. I'm a Brit, I didn't know that. Uh, I do now, and we have the information uh, day by day, so things are updated daily, and we've got a weekly trend, which was stable, but over the course of the whole month, we think that this has gone up quite a lot. So in the last week, not so much change but in the last month quite a significant change and the interest volume is is not insignificant at half a million people a month uh, and you can see how that breaks down day by day uh, you uh, can then also go and see the related topics and you can start clicking around here so you want to start having a look at maple syrup um, probably not surprising that uh, that's growing over the month if uh, pancakes and things are rising over the month and that's probably due to uh, more people eating at home uh, and so you get some idea of different trends trends of information here now if you if you like this idea then um, then that's great because when you're uh, having a look at your categories there's a little star beside all of them and if you think that this is something you need to pay attention to you can add add it to your dashboard so just click on that click on that so we're going to go take the allium uh, the goulash and the flower uh, and then we get when we go back to our home page this information is going to be collected every day and you can see the uh, allium trichome tr <laughs> allium and flower uh, and uh, has been added to the dashboard um, within the food and beverages section so uh, if you get rid of everything within a given section and then refresh the page and the automotive section then uh, will disappear completely. So it's not filling up your dashboard with things that you don't want. And if you just want to get rid of them, just unclick them. Uh, you also, within these uh, categories, uh, now have an extra feature that which gives you a huge amount more topic uh, information. So uh, the Food and Trends system, although we only get to see certain amounts here, has actually 2,700 different topics on there. So if you wanted to see things about potatoes, you can start typing and just with uh, other, other tools, we start to bring in uh, words that we think might match the search. But we also show you whether they're stable here and with the numbers here. So you can sit there and say, right, I want potatoes. Take that and it will bring that straight in. So we've got this search functionality within all the category screens. So you can search within a category uh, and bring the information in. I think this is a really powerful tool. I think you can use this for um, working out things that should be in your supply chain if you're a product company. Uh, and uh, you can certainly use it for content curation because you can get ahead of the curve and start to work out what topics are becoming interesting. And because we bring this information to you right out of the box, you don't need to go and guess. We're showing you this information right at the start so you can see what's starting to rise and also what's starting to fall. I hope it's, you think it's powerful. I hope you'll talk about it publicly and uh, I hope you'll sign up to InLinks. Thanks so much.